one last rider out. The pressure's off of her in the non-pro, but back for the open, Sandy Benelli riding Shake and Flow. Well, she's got a chance to win this one. She's got to beat a 221, and looks like the mayor's got her composure back. She's back in shape. You know, when we watched her in the non-pro finals a little earlier on, you thought she kind of got scared because of the ground and slipping. Yes, I did, and I wondered how she'd come back here in the open, because this is only, what, been maybe an hour since she showed a while ago. And she's come back strong. Oh, she's coming back just like her old self. She's right back in form, and she started off a run that can definitely do it. Look at the mirror. She's looking around at the audience <laughs> there. And <laughs> I'm back one more time. Yeah. Is there an advantage for her being able to perform twice in one evening? Sometimes it could be, Shelly. It just kind of depends. Like, in other words, if she'd have messed up earlier in her run in the non-pro and maybe had a chance to bump this mirror a little bit and kind of adjust her and tune her just a little, it would have been an advantage. I think under the circumstances, it's more of a disadvantage because the mare slipped and got just a little bit scared. But she's showing how great she really is by coming back this quickly and gaining her composure and being right back to her old self again. Right, and as you said, being the last horse, she knows that she has to beat a score of 221. That's a tough score to beat. Very tough. Of course, there's four cows per horse, and there's a lot of fresh cows in there, but there's so many it makes it hard sometimes to get to the one you're after. Here she's made it. You know what? That's the cow that Mike Murray just cut. Oh, I hope it doesn't do it. Same it did to Mike. cow. She got a hold of it a little bit better, but that's exactly the same cow. My, oh, my goodness, and there's been one run out. Now, that wasn't her fault, but it's got to get cleared. They need to get that cow out of there. Well, doesn't she want to stay more in the middle, too, kind of stay in the middle of the yeah, arena? that cow really cost her. Whew. I mean, that was a difficult situation, but that, you know, you spent more time watching the accident than you did what the horse was really doing. Now she's got to get cut with something and finish this run up. And she doesn't have much time left. No. Well, the crowd loves her, don't they? They sure do. Well, this is a crowd favorite kind of a horse. Wow, look at that. I tell you what, Shelly, I don't think she beat that 221. That second cow just cost her too much. Well, as we see here in a minute what the scoreboard reads. It got quiet, didn't it? Yes, it did. Whoa, 226 yeah. for Sandy Benelli in Shake and Flow. She's going to be your Open Derby champion. I guess I was wrong. Looks like she won it, but at least she's a crowd favorite, and we really like to see great horses win. Well, let's take another look at our champion, Shake and Flow and Sandy Benelli. She sets herself apart from all the rest of the horses. No matter what she does, she just looks better doing it. One of the greats of all times, ladies and gentlemen, and you witnessed it right here on Outdoor Life Network. Now, here's Shelly with our champion. Well, maybe not the triple crown for Sandy Benelli and Shake and Flow, but definitely the open, a 226. You know, you had some tough luck. I know the pressure was on you for the triple crown, Sandy, and not so much for Shake and Flow, because <laughs> obviously she can do anything. But you jumped back in there in the open finals. I know it's tough to make two runs in one night. Tell us what was the plans after the disappointment in the non-pro and coming back and winning a 226 in the open? Well, actually, after the non-pro, I was so disappointed. I just wasn't even thinking about it. And Kathy came up to me and said that I could win the open. It was her confidence that came through because I was very mentally upset after the non-pro because I don't feel I showed my mare well and she walked up to me in the hall and said by God you stay in this because you could win it and I didn't believe it but thank goodness she did she always does it's great to have friends like this in the business that's one of the wonderful things about cutting horses shake and flow Sandy Benelli the open derby champion congratulations